This Mr. is the Northern Regional Director of the Veterinary Services Department, Dr. Evans Inso Yamdo, has admonished livestock traders against being cruel to animals since it is against the law of animal welfare. While well, he was speaking to stakeholders forum on ethno veterinary medicines for sustainable animal husbandry practices in the Northern Ghana, that's specifically in Tamale. National Stakeholders Forum on Ethno-Veterinary Medicine for Sustainable Animal Husbandry Practices in Northern Ghana Project seeks to promote the integration and the use of herbal medicine in the animal health care activity in rural communities in the country as expressed in the Ghana Livestock Development Policy and Strategy 2016. The Ethno-Veterinary Medicine Project, which is funded by Mesuro Germany, is implemented by ASDEP, Animal Research Institutes and Veterinary Services Department in four districts in the Northern, Northeast and Upper East regions, addressing stakeholders on the strategic document outlawing the use of cruel methods in the handling of animals under the Animal Cruelty Act of 1960, the Northern Regional Director of the Veterinary Services Department, Dr. Ivan Zenso Anyamdo, cautioned people to respect the welfare of animals. The thing that we notice here is transportation of the animals. Mostly, a Kia truck is being used to carry them. A Kia probably adequately can take about 10 to 12. But most at times what you see is being done is they are overloaded and their necks are even being twisted and they use rope to tie them. That is cruel. And um, because of the lack of education on this law, that is why some of these activities are being carried out. Yes. But, but the way animals are being treated is not the best. Those who are aware, pets, talking of cats and dogs, which are more emotionally related to their, their, their owners, you see that this and that it, uh, they give them adequate treatment. But when you come to livestock where it, their animals are being slaughtered for consumption, that destiny is not really being felt. Dr. Inso added that there is a need to promote herbal medicine use in rural areas. Areas probably which are inaccessible to veterinary staff certainly will resort to the use of herbal medicine for treatment of their animals. So instead of probably turning a blind eye to that activity, the best thing is we should rather acknowledge it and then support them to, uh, so that at the end of the day, and also link them up with the veterinary laboratory so that uh, when they are doing the treatment and so on and so forth, then the disease will certainly be confirmed by veterinary laboratory. If it's a Newcastle disease, they know that it is a Newcastle disease they are treating. If it's African swine fever, then they know that it is African swine fever. So at the end of the day, it is a complementary effort that we are trying to do to give quality animal health services to our, 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 our rural farmers. The executive director of the Association of Church Development Projects, Malex Alebikia, called for more education for farmers, livestock traders, and other stakeholders on valuing animals. People will take time to to park and transport even a bicycle. But the, a, a car that is going from the north to the south, um, you see that even the, the vehicles that are being used um, are not appropriate for them. Um, but other jurisdictions, they have specialized transport system for livestock movement. So you can't just get an articulated truck uh, that happened to have brought uh, maize up and then start loading cattle uh, or goats or sheep. So I think that we need to move to a level where, uh, even in the transportation, we can get specialized vehicles that, um, that, that, that can help to move this livestock comfortably. Stakeholders at the forum called for the enforcement of animal care laws, as well as the promulgation of herbal health care treatment at the local level.